I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this video, I'm going to show latches. And latches, if you've been following these videos in sequence, are a whole new thing. So previously, I've been showing you combinational logic. And with latches, we start to get into sequential logic. And what that is is uh, logic circuits that have memory to them. So they don't just depend on the current state of the inputs, they also depend on the previous states of the inputs. So uh, the first thing I'm going to start out with is latches. And the simplest of them is the SR latch. And an SR latch is made up of a pair of uh, NOR gates. And they're crosswired like this, which allows them to remember the input that was put onto them. And so we have S and R, and set stands for uh, S stands for set, and R stands for reset. And we have Q and Q bar, and I have no idea why they're called that. So uh, let's make a table here showing what happens as you put input on it. Okay, so I'll have four possibilities. All right, and if I have zero, zero coming in to set and reset, the outputs don't change state. If I have zero, one, Q is 0, Q bar is 1. It's like this for that. And then here we're getting 0, 0, which is a semi-invalid state. You can put this in and you will get this out, but you're running a real risk uh, because if you, if you change from this state to here, uh, 1, 1 to 0, 0, you have no idea which way the outputs are going to end up. Uh, you'll be crossing through what would be called a metastable state or uh, based on uh, maybe, maybe your timing for one of these bits is a little bit ahead of the other. That could cause this to go into one state versus the other. Okay. Uh, if you are searching on the internet about this stuff, you will find many, many, many different ways to make these kind of circuits. And another common one that you'll see is the S bar, R bar latch. And the S bar, R bar latch looks like this. These come into NAND gates, which are cross wired like this, and this time Q's up here, and Q bar is down here. All right, and here is our truth table for this one. Okay, if I have zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, and uh, the first thing that we're gonna have is this is uh, one, one, which is a semi-invalid state, just like this one was. And uh, if I have zero, one, I get one, zero out of the output and zero, one for here. And then one, one gives me no change. So uh, with zero, zero, if I change to this state, I really don't know which way my output's going to end up, so uh, bad form to put it in that state. All right. Well, these uh, don't exactly have memory yet. They kind of do. If you, if you can always get it back to the no change state, then it's remembering stuff. But uh, now we're going to look at an SR latch 
with enable. And the way that we make that up is that we have our set, reset, and now we have E for enable. And we run these into AND gates. Like that. And then we go into the regular SR latch. It is cross coupled. And uh, Q bar is still up here, Q is down here. And now, if we make a table, we have enable, set, reset, Q, and Q bar. If enable is zero, it doesn't matter what set and reset are, it's no change. If enable is one, then we can have the output change. So, all right. So, zero, zero, just like our set reset latch, there's no change for that either. And if set is zero, then Q is zero, and like this, and this ends up being zero, zero, which is still invalid. All right, now let's look at the S bar, uh, R bar. It's just another way of doing the SR latch still. It's a close cousin. So uh, in this case, We're going to run the inputs into NAND gates. And then we're going to run it into the S bar, R bar latch. OK, now, uh, unlike the previous one, Q bar is going to be up here and Q's down there. <laughs> One second. <coughs> All right, I'm back. I run my workshop on solar power, and I shoot these at night, and that was my uh, inverter telling me that my battery's getting a little low. So uh, anyway, where was I? OK, we've got this circuit. Let's do the, uh, the chart here. All right, with enable at zero, it doesn't matter. No change. If it's one, we can start to have things change. All right, and this circuit works just like this circuit, except for this last state. So if I have, uh, if I have one one coming out in, the output will be 1, 1, which is invalid. But otherwise, uh, we have 1, 0, 0, 1, and no change. All right. Um, so these are great. They do have memory. We can make it so that it doesn't matter what the input to S and R are. But, uh, Let's add one more component, and then we'll call it quits for this video. OK, this is called a D latch. And there uh, are many ways to make this. I'm going to show you one. All right, so we have a D input, and we're going to feed that into a SR latch with enable. So we have another input down here, and we still have our enable, and Okay, and Q 
bar up here, Q down here. And uh, the thing that makes this different from the SR latch with enable is that we have an inverter right here. All right. And what this D latch does is it gets rid of that pesky uh, invalid state for us. And so here is our table for this one. Enable is zero, it doesn't matter what D is, no change. If it is a one, uh, Q mirrors what D is doing. So uh, zero, one, one, zero. All right, so that's great. Let me give you a little uh, sort of a oscilloscope diagram here. So if I have divide it up. So here's zero, here's one. This is my Q. This is my uh, set or my data. And this is enable. All right, if I have enable here, like that, and data looking like that. All right, on my queue, until this point, I have no idea. It was the last state, whatever that was. So it could be a zero, it could be a one. Uh, at this point, when enable goes high, now I know for sure that it's low. Okay, and then here, enable at this point right here, Enable is dropping down, and so it doesn't matter anymore what uh, data is doing. It's just going to stay low, and it's going to retain its memory. So that was latches. Uh, we showed you the SR latch, the S bar, R bar latch, uh, both of those with enable, and then the D latch. And uh, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, take a look at uh, my other videos. I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com.